Have you ever thought of how many times Jesus cheered his disciples and encouraged them? You remember how he told us? In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. John 16, 33. And remember when the disciples were about to perish in the storm and the sea? When behold, Jesus comes to them walking on the water and he stills the fears. The disciples were in a storm and they thought Jesus was nowhere in sight. When all of a sudden there he was and they took heart. Matthew 14, verse 27. The storm clouds had a silver lining after all. And when it is all said and done, we'll see that this very same Jesus is there to deliver us and still the storm. When it looked as though they would perish, salvation came to them through the Savior. I thought life is like that. The devil throws all the grief and sorrow he can muster, so much so that all looks helpless, that is, until Jesus comes on the scene. And so he tells us, I have overcome the world. I will have the last word and it will be deliverance. This beautiful truth brings back a memory of an incident I had over 70 years ago. I was driving over the Bear Lodge Mountains in Wyoming when I happened to see a fawn caught in a wire fence by the roadside. I got on out and walked to the frightened little creature and going to release it from the wire. I had to pick up a heavy stick to pry the fence apart. As I walked toward that deer with the club in my hand, I can still see the frightened look in that trapped animal. If you've ever seen a fawn, you will always remember the huge, beautiful eyes of the little creature. This one was filled with terror as I approached her. In a moment or two, I had the wire divided and the deer was free. She ran a few steps, turned and looked at me for a moment, then vanished into the forest. Over the years, I'm sure I've thought of that incident a thousand times, and it always brings me comfort. We're all going to have troubles and trials in this world. Jesus told us that we would. He said, in the world, you'll have tribulation. Like that trapped baby deer, Satan is going to accost and afflict us. We're going to be caught in some trying times that will hurt. But in the midst of the troubles and the trials, there'll be deliverance if we trust the Savior. Jesus tells us, he says, be of good cheer, I've overcome the world. We can have joy because we know God will see us through the trial or perhaps deliver us from it. However it is played out, God is going to have the last word and it's going to be a glorious word. If the ancient Job was here, he would tell us to endure suffering because with God's help, it will all turn out well. Horatio Spafford has put it so truly. Though Satan should buffet, though trials should come, let this blessed assurance control that Christ has regarded my helpless estate and has shed his own blood for my soul. Yes, indeed, the victory lies in Jesus. No matter how bleak the picture may be, Jesus is there and he will always prevail. Heavenly Father, thank you for Jesus, beautiful, wonderful Jesus. And maybe somebody today is caught in that fence, caught in the hard things of life and in, is in despair. And so help them to see that in Jesus is deliverance. Maybe not deliverance from the problem, but he'll help us through any problem or trial we have. Thank you for Jesus, wonderful Jesus. In his name, amen.